Okay, one of the things you mentioned earlier was the fact that uh, you'll be doing a specialist course in your co in the colleges. And I believe you have the license now to produce MBBS students, medical students. Part of the issue with Malaysia at the moment is there are a lot of doctors coming out, not very many facilities to train them in, not much expertise to train them either, and in fact, probably not enough patients either. So is KPJ going to start training these doctors and do housemanships there? Actually, we haven't got our license for MBBS. Oh, okay. We are in the middle of applying for license, uh, and I feel we have strong ground to justify that KPJ currently owning 23 hospitals with close to 3,000 beds and um, somewhere 900 specialist consultants, very experienced consultants, mm -hmm. can play a significant role in training new students for, uh, to, be, to, be, to, be, to be doctors. Uh, anyway, um, we have started a program to train specialist consultants, uh, which currently are only done in government hospitals or government universities. And uh, there are many um, GPs or doctors who have ambition to become specialists, but the, the placement the, uh, in universities and um, government hospitals uh, are not sufficient mm -hmm. to cater to all the demands by doctors. So we feel that with the setup that we have, the hospitals, the, the experienced consultants, uh, we are in a position to train and, and contribute to the country by, by uh, training specialist consultants. Okay. For a start. For a start. And uh, we still have ambition to start our own MBBS program. Okay. So, but beyond MBBS, these doctors have to go through their housemanship. Um, and right now, they all have to go to a government hospital for that. Is there any... Well, if KPJ do get our license to start our MBBS, we, we feel that we can also provide housemanship training for, for the, doc for the for would-be doctors. Okay. So we have the edge of uh, many other co private colleges who don't even have single bed to train their doctors. They, they still rely on the government for even the uh, medical student training mm -hmm. uh, and also the housemanship training. Uh, in the case of KPJ, I think we have the setup, we have the facilities, we have the infrastructures and okay. people to train. Okay, so you need to persuade some government body to allow you to do that, right? Yeah, I hope they are listening <laughs> and we are, we are, we are doing that. Okay. And uh, okay. we hope we can get approval to, to start offering uh, medical courses. Okay, well you earlier on mentioned um, increasing activities in hospitals and increasing and improving the range of services, so, so maybe possibly inclu including oncology. But what about the quality of the service that has been provide, provided in KPJ hospitals? You know, how do you ensure that that continues as you expand the number of hospitals mm. you have, mm. particularly overseas? Um, we already have big workforce. Um, close to 10,000 employees uh, covering all the allied professionals in health, nurses, paramedics, pharmacies, uh, therapists, uh, some are very experienced ones. So whenever we open or acquire a new hospital, so we always bring this expertise and knowledge to the new setup to make sure that we, we maintain and uh, make sure also that we, con we, we have similar standard of service in all our hospitals, new and old. Uh, other than, apart from that, we also have, a, we also have a embark on our clinical governance framework development mm. over the last 10 years. And we have committees that comprise senior doctors and senior nurses who look at developing new policies and procedures to make sure that uh, patient safety are uh, given topmost priority whenever okay. they get treatment in, our, in all our hospitals. Okay. So that's yeah. pretty much what we are doing.